I've been lucky enough to be independent the whole way through, which has made me, I guess, very direct, which some people mistake as arrogant. I don't think my approach on business is what the average person would advise. Like most, I hear people say, never put up your own money. And I'm saying, put your own money up. Work harder than everyone, be patient. And just know that if you're gonna do something on your own, you're gonna have to feel some pain. So like a vampire life, you know, we've had a certain amount of success in a, in a very short period of time. And I'm like the little Jewish guy behind it. You know what I mean? Like before, there's always a, a, someone from another culture that's behind it, funding it. And in Harlem, your whole thing is not to get hit by work. You want to be the connect. You want to put your own dough up. You want to buy your work. And if you fuck it up, you fuck it up. But when you get that, you can pay it and do what you need to do. If you can name someone in the urban business or an urban brand that's owned by an urban person, not to say a person's being paid a percentage or sweat equity because they're the ambassador or the face of the brand, but are they doing the p and Are they doing the production? Are they doing the sales? Are they making sure the bills are paid? Are they paying the staff even if the... Uh, sales didn't ship. The difference with me is I can do all these things because I'm the one that puts up the money. If I feel like making a motor oil, I can make a motor oil. Or if I want to make a liquor, I can make a liquor. Just because I'm gonna cut out the connect, I know how to get it developed, I know how to get it manufactured, I know how to produce it, I know how to have it distributed, I know what sales, you know, I know the game. When my children, you know, look and, and ask ab about what I do, they know I'm the boss. They know I put up my own dough. They could care less what they read in the paper. They see it every day and their quality of living is never compromised. They, kn they know that there's no other man that can walk in the room that's gonna make me bow down or talk with a different tone or be extra nice to. And that's what I watch all of these so-called men do. You know, they claim they're bosses and they have these things, but someone else is paying for it. And when that someone else from another cult culture walk walks in the room, you know, I see voices change and demeanors change. And it's just disgusting. I don't even want to bring up names because I don't want to, I wouldn't even want to do that to people that other people look up to. <laughs> that they think are strong, you know, and you see how weak they are when some little white man walks in the room that can cut them a check. It's disgusting. Have you ever watched a James Bond movie where it doesn't look like he's losing at some point and then he wins? Or Batman? Or Iron Man? Or any superhero? There has to be some diversity for you to, you know, overcome to win. You know, you can't be a champ unless you, uh, you know, are in a place where you look like you're gonna lose and then you win. The pain that's gonna come with being independent, you have to embrace it because it's gonna happen. And also know that the more successful you get, the more problems you're gonna have, the more knots you're gonna have to untie. Being a boss does not mean smooth sailing. It means having the ability to care about other people before yourself and to untie problems, untie knots. That's all it is. There's, it's not business if there's not problems. There's nothing good without struggle. It just doesn't happen. In all my experiences, there hasn't been one thing that's been successful without me feeling some pain before it was successful. So now when there is pain, I embrace it. You know, I've been embracing it, I'm a G about it because I know that must mean that if I'm cool, that you know what awaits me. It's like the darkest before the dawn. I don't. I don't want to like sound corny, but that's really what that's that's what has to happen.